This studio vlog is brought to you by our friends over at onlinelabels.com. I'll be talking a bit more about how I use their products for my Etsy shop, but without further ado, let's jump in. Hey everyone, and welcome back to another studio vlog. If you are new here, my name is Sheena, and I'm a digital content creator and illustrator based in New York City. So I'm starting off my day with trying to get some art prints cut out. If you saw my previous studio vlog, then you already know that I have finally, finally invested in a pro level printer. After a bit of research and just kind of saving up some money, I decided to go with the Canon Pixma Pro 100, and this illustration that you're seeing is one of the first test prints that I am attempting. Now I'm actually doing a smaller size because I plan to send these off to my patrons and include it in the previous month's snail mail. And one of my favorite parts about having this focused, smaller Patreon community is that you can get some real feedback on a few products and prototypes before you decide to put them in your shop. So this is usually how I get just honest and straightforward feedback from people who do support me. So in this package, I'm including this really cute corresponding die cut sticker and then again that art print that I ended up doing and I'm going to package them up in these envelopes that I found on Amazon. I'm pretty sure I mentioned these in the previous video as well but I'll be sure to link them again just in case you are curious. So that's about it. This is my little spread right here and I'm going to turn you over to the time lapse and I hope you enjoy it. So this is kind of random, but it was a happy moment for me because I feel like I never buy myself anything nice these days, but I finally got a Nintendo Switch Lite. I've waited so long for Target to get these back in stock because other brands were basically price gouging and I finally got my hands on one. I decided to go with the gray one. Of course, I downloaded Animal Crossing. I've been playing it for about two weeks now and once I get more of a groove of things and I actually start building on it, I will let you guys know my feelings and of course we can visit each other's islands. All right, so this is later in the day and I documented this call because it's actually a new product, a new beginning for me. I'm actually talking with a brand about producing a limited edition shirt and I am so excited because as most of you know, I've never branched into clothing or shirts in particular. So this is going to be really exciting. So stay tuned for that and I will take you through my entire process once I am done. Hey everyone, welcome to another day of the vlog. 
I am just sitting on the floor because I just got back from walking Dakota and it was hot out. I'm just taking a breather and having some water. But as you all saw from the clip earlier, I managed to get up and get straight into my workout. I'm really, really trying to get into a better workout routine or just being active because for the last like three months, I've just been stagnant sitting here on the couch and it's not even about like looking skinny or lean or any of that. It's just that I don't feel healthy. Like I go for walks and I'm super winded and that's not me. I'm actually a very lean and athletic person. So I'm just trying to get back on track. So I actually found this bike on Amazon and I know the Peloton is super popular. I have a lot of friends who have it, but I live in a really small New York City apartment and I didn't want something that I couldn't fold up and tuck away. And so this works beautifully. It's inexpensive. I can collapse it, put it in the closet and still get my cardio in every single day. And as cheesy as it sounds, it does make me feel better like it does make me feel more accomplished and now I'm ready to hop in the shower get ready and move on with the rest of my work day but I'm trying to keep up more steady habits because I realize that steady habits also lead to what consistency and having an Etsy shop um, having a YouTube channel consistency is king if you're consistent and you're always releasing content and product you are bound to be successful but there's no other way for you to be and I feel like I'm holding myself back and so this may be just a vlog where you guys see me just kind of getting everything back together and getting back on track and trying to create some normalcy in the middle of a pandemic and being stuck in my apartment every day so that's basically it I'm gonna get a shower just get more put together and I'll be back all right, so I am back. I am clean, I'm caffeinated, and I am ready to get to work. Um, one of the first things I wanna tackle is actually getting my calendar updated. You guys have seen this wall cal in so many vlogs that I've done. It's by a brand called Girl Friday. It is acrylic, and that's probably my favorite part about it, but I wanna go ahead and get it updated for July because I really do use this calendar to like keep myself on task to see what's in the upcoming weeks without having to open a planner or open in my phone so let's get this updated and then we'll get to work Okay, so this is like my basic layout. So I just get all of the days in, of course. I get the month written in and then I go ahead and make sure my key is still good. So you guys can see I have client work, Patreon, YouTube, Etsy, and then personal life. So I know a lot of freelancers like to break up the different facets of their lives. So keeping like personal stuff separate from business. But the issue that I see with that is, let's say you have an appointment coming up. I have to see my orthodontist on the 10th. If I also have a client meeting, and I don't notice the two are at the same time or on the same date, I can end up missing one of my appointments. So I just put everything together just so I can see what I'm doing, where I'm at. And so as I answer emails and work, I can like literally glance at my calendar and just see what's going on. So this is where I start. And then based on my keys, I'm going to go in with my color coordinated markers and mark the specific events or you know tasks that are coming up. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay, here is the finished cow for the most part. As like I mentioned, it is color coded. I need to still go through and do my Etsy and YouTube stuff, but I'm trying to solidify a schedule that's realistic. And until I do that, I don't want to put it up here and, you know, set fake milestones or tasks I know I'm not gonna do so this is what it looks like um, I have a decent amount going on so far with the rest of the stuff missing but yeah that's how I get my calendar organized and then usually in this area I'll try to put like things that I need for the shop things I need to order just to kind of keep them in my frame of mind so I don't forget but that's that and let's move on to some other work 
All right, so I have got you guys set up on a stack of books right now um, because that is the best I can do with this area of my apartment. Um, speaking of books, if any of you are also book nerds and you wanna see some of the new ones that I've gotten, please let me know if you want me to do a video on that. Um, I read all types of stuff, but lately I've had a focus on getting books that are created by black authors. I've also been looking for some anti-racist reads. I also have been passing a few on to Dustin to check out as well because it's the least we can do during a time like this. I think it goes without saying black lives have always mattered. If you don't agree with that, then that may not be the channel for you, but um, let me know if you're interested. I have a lot of books from like fiction, um, nonfiction that I think would be really interesting. Moving on to why I'm here. I feel like it has been so long since I've sat down and just talked to you guys about what I've been working on, especially because it's been so long since the last studio vlog. So I figured now would be a great time so let's start with stickers now I haven't been producing stickers as fast as I wanted to just because I haven't been super inspired um, unfortunately it's a roadblock that we all run into as creatives like one season you're pumping out stickers every couple of weeks you have so many ideas and then some seasons like now it just seems like a lot of ideas aren't coming to me unfortunately and I don't believe in making product or artwork that I don't really like or believe in just to make money so that's why the shop has been slow I guess you can say but I want to show you what I'm working on right now and then also my plans for future products in my shop and what that's going to look like. So when it comes to stickers, one of the first things I've been working on are some new die cut stickers. I made this design and I shared it on Patreon, but this one is transparent and I really like the way that it looks. It's still transparent matte though, because that's just my style. And then this one is on the white sticker paper that I always use. So again, you might notice a slight difference in pigmentation, but once you get the transparent sticker on a piece of white paper, it truly pops. And it's not very hard for me just to change out the paper and the printer to give people a different option. So moving forward, I'm gonna try to do this more often because I do have a ton of this transparent paper in stock now that I just haven't move forward with and I don't know why. So that's what I'm working on sticker wise. I have a few other things up my sleeve, but still working through prototypes. I'm not ready to share them yet, but of course, once I am, you will hear it here on my YouTube. And then something else that I mentioned on my Patreon and my Instagram is that I finally got my Nintendo Switch. Um, I've always been a gamer, but I think I've kind of let off of it the last few years and haven't really gone back. And then during the pandemic and my time away from Instagram, I took like a month hiatus off the platform. I just wanted something else to fill my time that was just not worth Work or drawing because I do that all the time and so I got my switch and I'm in love with it but the reason I'm bringing this up is because now that I've been using it for a while I also want to personalize it that's why I got the gray color because I feel like I could make it more my own because it's a very I guess neutral color so I'm trying to create a possible skin or stickers that can go on this unit but I've heard some things online in several forums about how some of the adhesives that people make skins out of can actually damage the surface of the plastic that it's made out of and the last thing I want to do is damage someone's $200, $300 device because of my sticker. So I'm still working on those prototypes and once I figure something out, I will let you know. Um, but if you're kind of in the same realm and you're thinking about making skins for the Switch or maybe a Wii controller, whatever it is, just know you can always find the templates online. You just Google it and a ton of people have made the template that you can put your design onto. So just a little quick tip there. But if I come up with something, you all will see it. But right now it's in the very, very early stages of testing. So I obviously cannot finish talking about uh, the stickers and my sticker creation process without mentioning our video sponsor, Online Labels. Now, you guys will understand how excited I was when their team reached out to me for this collaboration because it's a product that I use every day for my Etsy shop every day. Like I will show you all the stack of paper that I have here that I've had for months because they are my primary source for getting sticker paper. And if you've never heard of online labels, 
they're exactly what they sound like. <laughs> they're an online store where you can basically buy labels and sticker paper and have them shipped right to your home or your studio to start making products. And their labels can be used on a plethora of things. You can do address labels, shipping labels, packing labels, and of course, stickers. And one of the things that I love the most about them is that they give you a large range of finishes. So you have glossy, you have matte, transparent matte, weatherproof matte to get the exact finish that you're looking for um, but they also allow you to buy in multiple quantities which I love so you're not forced into just buying a thousand sheets or two thousand sheets you can start small like I did and then start to increase your orders as you scale and online labels has also been used and backed by some huge brands that we all know and love like Google FedEx Southwest the list goes on so if you haven't checked them out I totally recommend going on their site start picking out the sticker finishes that you would like the quantity and just kind of see where you stand i talked about this in my last like how to start an etsy shop video but when you're buying products like this like sticker paper it's always a good idea to buy more than less because as you buy more quantities the price per unit goes down and you're able to have all that paper on hand so that you never run out in the middle of a customer order which i'm guilty of doing um, because i was trying to spend less money but i'm telling you from experience buy more than you need you will end up using it so along with partnering with me on this video, they also sent me a crap ton of paper, which is great because again, I use it in my shop. They are my primary source for sticker paper. And I ended up getting some more of the weatherproof mat for inkjet. And I love the way that they ship it to you. You get it in this plastic enclosed case so you can keep everything really flat and neat and protected from the elements. And then once you open the package, all of the paper is facing up. So that means when you open it and you're ready to put it in your printer, you already know that if it's facing up, it's the printable side. And the bottom is obviously the backing. So I literally leave it exactly how it's packaged and that's how I prevent myself from printing on the wrong side. So for anyone that was unsure or curious of who I use, I predominantly use online labels for all of my stickers. And if you wanna check them out, you can log on to onlinelabels.com to check out their product line and they are also available on Amazon. So for those of you who procrastinate a little bit and maybe need to get some paper within two days, three days and get that faster shipping time, you can also support their storefront on Amazon. So thanks again to Online Labels for sponsoring and supporting this channel there couldn't have been a better partnership because again i've used the brand for over a year and a half and i truly believe in everything they're about and their product is superb quality all right so now moving on to the rest of the product that i've been working on so i've mentioned a few times i've wanted to get into making art prints but i've been kind of apprehensive because i didn't want to go out and have a ton of them printed um, by a printing company and then not sell through them just have them sitting around the apartment um so i thought it was a good time to to invest in a pro level printer. So if you watched my last studio vlog, you saw that I invested in a Canon Pixma Pro 100 and it's been amazing. I wanna say the hardest thing has been the learning curve and figuring out how to use um, ICC profiles. I could go into that right now, but it would make this portion of the video super long, so I won't. But in layman's terms, it just means that you're setting your printer to work with many different types of paper manufacturers that are not native to the printer. So if I'm not using Canon paper, ICC profiles allow me to configure my printer to work with papers that are not Canon. So even though I do have Canon paper and I've used it and I loved it, it's not always the cheapest. And so I'm trying to find different options on Amazon. So this last two weeks, I've just been doing a lot of tests and prototypes and I figured I would share that with you. So one of my first tests was of the sticker I just showed you. So it's of this girl um, just kind of, you know, sitting down, She's in her van, she's in a coral top. And even though I think it's okay, this is not exactly how I think the color profiles should look. I feel like she's very orange and overly saturated, also in this one as well. Um, but this is part of the testing process. So I had done so many of these prints and they weren't coming out right. And then I finally got it exactly how I wanted it. And this is actually what I sent out to my patrons last month. Um, again, it's kind of like a focus group to test this out and see what they think. And 
as far as I'm hearing, they love it. They love the paper quality and the print quality. So I think I finally got this one down. And like I said, these are not my finals. These were my mistakes, but I want to show you just to kind of reiterate that creating new product and scaling is never going to be easy. You're going to waste time and money um, and products. It's just inevitable. But once you get through it, you can create something really beautiful and custom. And another print that I recently solidified that I just love is probably my favorite to date is this one that I made um, called the plant queen. And obviously it's a woman in her house, not only propagating plants, but watering plants, like everything in her life is thriving. And I absolutely love this. And as you can see, it has a very dark background. So I was worried about how the printer will do, but luckily this was on Canon art print paper. So there weren't too many adjustments that I had to to do I just had to set my printer to a matte setting and this is how it came out and I think the print is just stunning like don't mean to toot my own horn but I think it's absolutely stunning and I can't wait to put this in my shop I also went ahead and did some test prints of the five by seven size and that is what it looks like so these are the two side by side now this paper is not by Canon this is actually by a company called Finestra or Finesta I'm not sure I may have to link it, but I think it's Finestra. Um, so for this particular print, I did have to kind of tweak my ICC profiles because Canon does not recognize this paper. It recognizes this. So it took me a while to get these. It took me probably three times as long to get this print to look like this, but here we are. So I've got these solidified. And again, they will be in my shop once I launch all my prints later this week. And then while I was at it, I also knocked out a few other prints that were really popular on my Instagram and people were asking if I was going to do prints and it's my Grace Jones print, which I absolutely love. It came out so beautiful. That is the art of staying in. It's just a girl on her bed drawing in her iPad with some beautiful art and aesthetics. And then this one, which is the art of multitasking, which just has a girl watering her plants and checking email and doing yoga. Um, and it basically says you are always enough. Again, all of these pieces of art are on my Instagram and they were created in Procreate. And so I basically just resized them in Photoshop and then printed them out. And these are obviously the finalized ones, but I went through so many prints, <laughs> so many adjustments to get them to look like this. And now I'm happy with them. So that's basically where I am with art prints. I'm still trying to create more art, of course, to release. But these are the main ones that people were requesting that I wanted to get made and out the door. So stay tuned for that. If you're not following me on Instagram, be sure to follow either my personal page, which is She Meet City, or follow the Etsy page, which is Brooklyn Post. And you will see when these are launched to hopefully grab one of your own. So I know it's not much. I haven't been working on like a ton of products, but I just feel that like I'm a perfectionist and I honestly would prefer quality over quantity. And I just want to release products that I actually love and would use myself. And if I wouldn't, then you're not going to see it in my shop. So I hope that you guys can understand why I've been like slower with the vlogs and with the products, but I just didn't want to make studio vlogs where I'm just packing orders all day. Like while those videos are fun, I want to give you some more substance. So I hope this little sit down portion has given you some more insight into my creation process and some of the manufacturers that I work with. So I figured this would be a good point to kind of end this vlog and then start the next one tomorrow because tomorrow Ikea is actually going to, to be delivering all of the items I've been waiting on for the last two months two whole months so I went on and ordered like shelving and baskets and all of these organizational tools to kind of get my shop and my desk in order but they've been super delayed and so luckily they will be here tomorrow so I'll be sure to pull out the camera and you'll probably see a lot of just Dustin putting it together because it's what he does for a living he's a handyman and so he's really good at that stuff so I'll kind of let him handle that portion and then once I begin putting everything on the shelves and getting everything put together then I'll be be sure to take over at that point but I think we have a storm rolling in so I'm losing light so 
I'm going to end it here. I hope you all have enjoyed the studio vlog. I know it was a bit of a different format. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you still just want to see orders being packed all day because I can do that too. I just want to mix it up and give you something different. I really miss you guys and I appreciate you being patient with me and just really being supportive through all of this. Um, again, shout out to Online Labels for partnering with me on this video and making it possible for me to continue to do these videos and share this content with you all and also a huge shout out and a digital hug to all of my patrons who continue to pledge because they make it possible for me to again make videos like this buy new printers all that good stuff so thank you all so much for the bottom of my heart if you are not subscribed be sure to do that so you do not miss out on any content and i will see you in the next video bye